Okay, hello. I want to give you a little run through of a game that I made for Ludum Diary 41. Uh, the theme of it, of uh, Ludum Diary 41, was to take two incompatible genres of games and then do what you want with them. So I decided to go with uh, kind of sub genres, I guess, of the arcade era, uh, combining a Tetris style puzzle game. Uh, with the, the classic breakout game where you have to destroy all the blocks with a paddle on the ball. So um, the aim of the game is this. It's a high score game. So you continue until you lose the game. You will lose if you run out of balls. If you run out of space in the puzzle board. And if you run out of time. Um, so if you focus only on the puzzle board you're going to end up running out of balls because you'll uh, make mistakes and you won't keep the ball up with the paddle. But if you focus just on the block breaking then you're not going to be keeping an eye on the puzzle pieces falling and you'll run out of space. Um, and also you won't be making lines with the puzzle pieces and earning yourself more time. Uh, controls, you use the mouse and the keyboard for this so the mouse left and right is going to move the paddle from left to right. Uh, when you die to start a ball off you're going to use your left click and then A and D will move you left and right with the puzzle pieces. S will move the puzzle piece down. You can speed up the, the full speed of the of the puzzle pieces just like in the, a game like Tetris. And then you can use Q and E to rotate anti-clockwise and clockwise respectively. So um, yeah, let's get in. So you can see I've got three minutes at the moment. Uh, Tetris format, we see what shape is coming next. Um, and then breakout format, we have the ball bouncing around and we have our paddle at the bottom. Now what we instantly see is that the ball interferes greatly with the game of Tetris because we no longer have that nice shape that we used to have. And it also interferes with the ability to stack up uh, the tiles like you would in Tetris to accumulate lines. Because as you try to do it, the ball keeps kind of smashing it out the way somewhat. But you can use it creatively as well. So you can use it to redirect the ball while the pieces are falling. If you want to block it, you could move the piece into the wave. Like this, for example. And also what you can do is you can edit the shape of tiles. So... You can turn that into a three piece like that, for example, rather than having the L shape that you normally have with the, that particular piece. But it does mean that concentrating on two things, as you can see, I've made a bit of a mess here. Now, um, just like in Tetris, gravity doesn't quite apply in Tetris. The way that rows move down is if there's an entire row being cleared. So if I can get rid of this small block down there, you can see everything does shift down. But you are able to have floating blocks, and that is the way that Tetris works. It's only when you have a clear row from um, making a, a line or making a, a, a series of lines together that the game board will move down. But I've also added it in this game that if you were to clear an entire row with the with the um, with the ball smashing as well, then it will also shift down. So you do get times like this, where if you're lucky, where you can keep the ball up on an angle and it stays out of the way for a bit. And thats I don't see that as a bad thing. That's the time you should be focusing on. Right, now I can start building up some lines. Because at the moment, I've only I've used two minutes. I've only got one minute left now. Uh, I need to start thinking about getting some, uh, some lines to earn myself more time. So <laughs> the difficulty is it keeps messing up with my lines. So... Um, Oh my words, it's it's frustrating, but I I'm surprised how well it worked. I, I spent a lot. I lost the first day of the game jam with a different idea, um, and then I started this pretty much on the second day, and I started making breakout. Then I made the Tetris, and then I put them over each other and just hoped, please work as well as I hope you will. And I was pleased to see that it does work quite well. So um, yeah, we've only got 25 seconds left. I'm going to try and <laughs> make a line. Oh, no. Not if the ball has anything to say about it. Let's... Okay, maybe we just have to do some higher up lines because it's hard to get down into that side. Ten seconds left. Uh, can we narrow this down and get into there? Oh, oh do we need one in that. Oh, <laughs> we ran out of time. So, yeah, we had two balls left. If we run out of those, it would have been game over too. And if we went up to the top of the screen, it would have been game over in the same vein. So, um, you can get extra time. It says 20 seconds per extra line uh, that you make. And you get uh, two minutes extra if you make a trout, which is a four-line simultaneous clear. Which is the max amount of lines you can clear in one move. So, that gives you an idea of the game. I'll just 
submit my high score feel free to play it submit a high score the high scores only work on the PC version rather than the web version at the moment but if I was to submit this you can see my score down here was 960 if we hit refresh we should see that I get updated to second place on the table so hopefully you've enjoyed your short exposure to Honest Dan's Trout um, if you want to check it out on the Loom Diary website that'd be cool if not take it easy thanks for watching